Last couple episodes have honestly been so much fun. And it wasn't me just getting upset and nor being dumb. And I know that's the whole point of the running gag, but the power of fantasy is there. First, we parry a dragon. Then we parry an army. And now, everyone is recognizing Nor. We're going to the Empire. He's scared of heights, so he's looking passed out. But everyone's like, oh my god, he's so locked in. We are about to parry a goddamn Empire. Are we ready for this? Let's begin today's reaction. Don't let him get in! Alright, the Empire's future technology. Look at all this. Looks very steampunk. He got parried. Skill issue. Oh, oh! Oh, I thought it was a wall. They can actually see what's going on outside. Yeah, the dragon's showing up. Mm -mm. We healed it. Yo, they're hyping this guy up more and more. This is like the sage, the priest, the healer, sovereign, right? And I think he's the most twisted. I mean, look at the perception of him through the emperor's perspective. Last episode too, even the assassin sovereign was like, yo, this guy's kind of fucked up. Yeah? What man? Lude. <laughs> I don't know, this pose is hilarious to me. It's just... He was talking, he was talking. <gasps> that damn sly dog! <laughs> so it's his fault? Well, like, everything is the Emperor's fault right now. Like, yo, you did this yourself, why are you getting mad at me? You're, you're the emperor. You're the you're the emperor, bro. You fucking figure it out. But I think that this guy is one of the people that was kind of foreshadowed to maybe you could be a good person, right? I, I I can't remember exactly why, but I remember him potentially being someone that sees the truth and sees that the emperor is a piece of shit, and maybe I don't know. We fucking replace this guy with him. I don't know. That look on his face. Hmm. What does that do? Is it another cannon beam? <laughs> Fuck the city. <laughs> I just realized that the dragon is... Bro, it's right there. We've been monologuing for like five minutes. It's still here, bro. Like, it should have been here like fucking... It should be here in the five seconds. Damn! The Emperor's mad. Let me guess. We're gonna use the Keraonos. Nor will parry it. And then it'll just decimate the Empire. And we'll have parried the Empire. There's the Keraonos. Here we go. Damn, they had to turn off the magic. They turned off the power of the entire empire, bro. To conserve the energy for this one cannon thing. Alright, time to parry it. Yep. Oh, went up. Wait, it goes up? It scatters, and then maybe it's gonna scatter all across the empire. Huh? You got parried. <gasps> Nor. Because it traced what? It was set to trace mana. Because that was the mode that they put it on by the Emperor Dwar himself, and now it's going back down, tracing mana? Mana furnaces. You did! Yo, this guy's. This guy's got dementia. Yo, he's forgetting everything he just says. Literally, he gets mad. He's like, who told you to do this? Y you did. And he says, useless. And then he blames someone else, but it's like, it's your orders. Huh? <laughs> Even his vessels, they're, they're done. This dude, this noble is literally running out. Leave him too. <laughs> 
you with Red Gun. I'm, I'm the direct superior. I'm getting out of here. You do something. I'm leaving too. You do something. It's only gonna be the Empire Emperor left. What do we do, sir? <laughs> it's been a All three just retired. All three just retired. I can't say I'm your direct supervisor, so so it's been a pleasure, sir. Bye. Mm -mm. The mana furnaces, right? This dude. He would be happy with the rest of his people getting hit. Notice how it's only going for the mana furnace because it's a mana tracking mode. So he's literally saying, nah, man, not my mana, you know, furnaces. Why can't you hit my people instead? You get what you fucking deserve. The Emperor? Mana metal hides the metal. The mana. Norse back. Here comes another railgun. Giga Noor. Who's gonna catch him? Anyone? Yeah, I want him to just drop and just like accidentally just like destroy everything that's important to them. <laughs> Alright, I'll overthrow the Emperor. This is the- it is correct, like, this guy's insane. Like, he is fucking everything up, so it isn't the Empire's best interest to replace the one ruling it, but- Well, sir, you said to figure out a solution, so we're overthrowing you. I love the soundtrack, too. Everyone left, bro. What the hell, bro? You want to save the Emperor? Well, maybe there's like a bigger reason. What does saving the Emperor do? Maybe there's potential diplomacy if he saves his ass and he's so traumatized and... Like, the Emperor also rem remembers Nora too. Maybe he'll like owe us favors? You again? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> he really doesn't know his strength, huh? He just fucking bashed it in the ground. Bald, bald. <laughs> that was like 20 people. What if we already just like broke his neck there? I don't know, I kind of want to like abuse the Emperor after saving him so that we can get a lot of favors for our kingdom, but like he might be dead right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at him. Wait, did he shit his pants? No, th this is the dirty cape from before, right? He didn't just shit his pants here, right? Putty! He's so rough with the Emperor. I mean, it's funny, but god damn, he's gonna actually kill him at this rate trying to save him. Oh, bro. Why are you ganging up on him like this? Says the man that just kicked the Emperor into the side of the fucking wall. <laughs> yeah, but he sucks. <laughs> Drag them out. No. I'm trying to save him. Wait, did he just say... What? Did he literally say just let him die by old age? <laughs> yeah, he did. The enemy is here. Like, the, the enemy is in front of you. Who do they think this guy is right now? I see. I thought they might want to like do a counter attack, but they just literally want to cut off the Emperor's head and show peace. I mean, Nora is here though. Oh, the sovereigns. As in, you're gonna to torture him? Oh, 
の方々はもしよおうノールドのここから先は我々俺に越したことはないどうやら俺の話は聞いてくれないようだからな All、right. 切る<笑>参りましょうノール先生 And everything is good よろしく頼む久々にお目にかかる十機州の皆様方 Circuit of Ten どうその男と話がしたいのだ Dude, I am, I am impressed he's actually still alive and conscious right now. After everything Nord did, smashed him on the ground, threw him against the wall, took him back out and threw him out. He's still here. Maybe it's the armor. That's not the face of forgiveness. I'm honestly surprised that the numbers of casualties aren't higher. Damn. Okay, that's pretty decent. <laughs> I say pretty decent as if it's satisfactory that there's enough people dead now. No, I don't know. I, I, I just thought like the, the scale of the calamity from the dragon. But then again, the dragon didn't really have time to do shit because North showed up and fucked him up. Yo, Prince. Reparations. Yeah, yeah, the sane guy is about to go insane. I'll just heal you back up. This is why healing power is actually so scary, bro. Because like you can heal them up after they get injured and continuously torture them. <laughs> Yo, are we the bad guys? No, 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 no. An eye for an eye. Remember the casualties. They started this first. <laughs> As if his shit stain on the back of the cape wasn't bad enough. He just pissed. Wait, this is the second time? He pissed himself again. He literally pissed himself before this. He is actually getting seen. He needs a diaper, man. Very merciful. Man, the prince hasn't had that much opportunities to shine other than just kind of be there as a decision maker. But like, this episode, I'm liking this. I wanted to see the prince fight too, but like, the diplomacy at hand, if you can even call it diplomacy, pretty cool. Our cute dragon. When is it going to transform? <laughs> Conveniently, only the mana furnaces, right? Nah, bro, just the mana furnace. Nope. Nobody. Yep. Just mana storages, right? How did the torture go, guys? I mean, you could say that the war was already over before it even started. It is crazy. We were only supposed to show up just to like scout, remember? Right? It was not really about just taking over. And then we got here and we're like, you know what? Why don't we just take him out? And we're like, fuck it, let's go. And yeah, first half of the episode already decimated. The Emperor's given up. And now we're gonna have some, I don't know, good negotiations that we're gonna profit off from. He pissed his pants. Who is it? Yeah, the knights. We got friends. Morals? Gang upon the elderly? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd say, well, they were throwing grenades and bombs. They were, and Nor saved them from that. It's just the way that we were thrashing around. It makes it look like Nor's the one, you know, doing the scene out bullying. Alright. <laughs> we just magically landed in there. <laughs> Amusing or stupid? Allies, man. I mean, are they gonna actually show up and help, or is it gonna be like a comedic gag moment where we're under attack, we request the Empire for help, but by the time they get here, Nor has already parried it? He might also poop shovel, you know, if there's irrigation problems. Any toiletry flushing problems, he'll shovel that shit. Dragon. Mm? Imperial sorcerer? I thought they'd be Imperial Knights based on their outfits, but maybe every one of them are just called sorcerers because it's a magic empire. Maybe. Probably not. Plus one friend. The scare of heights. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's right, Nor. Like, not only did he save the kingdom, he also defeated the empire. So, like, what kind of legendary heroic status reward are we gonna get? What? <laughs> He doesn't care. Except Rolo into the kingdom. There we go. Mm -hmm. He's a good kid. <laughs> Unsteady income. Bro, you could have literally asked for a reward that could have just like made you the richest person here in Tikkun and Carrollo, but fuck it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> そのたが望むのはそういうことか。この子には何度も祈りを聞いてくれたのも、この子がいたからだ。違うよ。あれはノールが。謙遜しなくとはすぐには終わらなかった。ロールディフィニーヘルプ。俺の望みはそれだけだ
With Ines? Oh shit. Alright. Ines Dub. Ines Dub the Ines from a couple episodes ago would call him a demon creature and just like try to kill him. But hey, look at the development. Oh. They prepared. Okay. So Ines can't cook for shit. I was gonna be like, damn, Ines, you made all this shit? Nah. Nah, she didn't. Mm -hmm. Every day. Real food. Bro's just been eating ingredients up until now. Rolla's wish coming true. Oh, that's sad, man. Because all the bread that he's ever had was stale, old, hard bread. And now he's getting, like, soft fua fua bread. <laughs> Look at that, man. What a happy ending to the arc. <laughs> it's actually getting me kind of emotional. Yo, I am... I am shocked that this anime... That we were pretty much shitting on for being so dumb in the earlier arcs, like... It's able to hit these emotional tones. I mean, the show has shown us when it's not just Nora, right? The backstories can be very dark. The action can be very high. But like, sentimental moments like this too, huh? They got it. So nani so ga Happy ending for Rolo. And there it is. I parry Divine Wrath? Wait a minute. What is the Divine Wrath? Most likely the... Weapon, right? It's it's not like this is not talking about the holy theocracy yet, right? It doesn't make sense. Today we div we parry the empire, and the empires was using weapons that could have been considered divine wrath. But that's today's episode. Another fantastic one where we just show up, dunk on the emperor. It's just so funny how he just drops in and starts almost killing the emperor himself without realizing what he's doing. And he's like blaming the other dudes. The funniest part might have been when Randius shows up to the emperor with this crew and the empire emperor is like, what are you doing? I told you to come up with a solution. And Randius is like, yes, sir. This is the solution. We're going to cut off your head and ask the kingdom for forgiveness. It's like, even that's pretty funny. Just dunking the Emperor's head. He pissed his pants again, by the way. Apparently, the source material, he never did again. But they really want to just show how shitty the Emperor is. And they did a fantastic job doing that. Now, even though the role stuff was very sentimental and wholesome, for the actual plot moving forward, accepting demon folk in is considered heresy, right? It's very bad. So, the Holy Theocracy is probably going to be your next antagonist. But how many episodes are left? This is already episode 11. I don't think Perry is going... Like, I'm assuming that we have one more episode left, at most two. I don't think we're gonna get to there. Maybe it's gonna be some sort of setup arc and potentially lead into season two, because this is not two cores, right? But so far, this whole... Ever since the Emperor, Empire started attacking, it's just been such a fun ride. And I genuinely am enjoying this now. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.